Good day, fellas. Welcome to the workshop. Today we have some boxes to get them open first. Let's see what is in this one. Okay, so in this one we have a tool from Yato. It's an electric tool. Uh, it can be used to detect the interruptions alongside the, the electrical cables. It's basically a tester which can help you find uh, you know those small gaps that you have on uh, in, like let's say intermittent uh, connections you know what I'm saying and uh, it will uh, ease up your work when you have uh, troubles with a uh, with a circuit with an electrical circuit that has uh, intermittent uh, connection it will be it's it's really helpful to have it in the workshop so let's see how it's on the front Inside the box, it's the pen itself. We have some uh, instructions, manuals, how to use it. And this is the pen. It has a button for oh no, one for the lantern and another S. Yes, I don't know for what it is. I think for stop. But I'm not sure. Also it comes with a nice uh, handle here to put it in your pockets. The test also was made on a live circuit. It also can find the the live circuit circuits that are inside the walls. So that's really really helpful if you want to drill a hole you know, in your wall. And uh, in this case, you can avoid that uh, that situation when you can you know drill a hole straight into the electrical circuit and maybe get electrocuted something worse yeah so here in the back it, it came with uh, a ready this thing it came with some batteries okay should not came with the batteries let me see what it came with it, uh, it's powered up with uh, two batteries two AAA batteries Okay, so the device comes with uh, protection on the batteries. You have to remove it first before the first use. The batteries are good. That came in the package. We just have to screw this cap on. And now we should have power. Let's see. Yep, the device turned green. So this means that we have power. Mm 
let's see what this s means uh, okay working at an extended range it's signaled by the illumination of the button marked s working in an extended range can lead range can lead to detection errors okay let's see if we find the cables inside the walls follow me okay so now we are on my balcony so here we have an, uh, an, an bottom for the lights so let's see if we can find something I'm not sure how should we use this huh you see so it finds it's uh -huh. so when we are using the let's see the accuracy Okay, it's not that accurate, but it's okay. I know that I put the cable straight to this line, straight on this line, and he can detect it with a wide array of two, three centimeters. Also, Yeah, so you can find easily the cables now that are hiding inside your wall. Awesome. So if I turn the S down, it will not be so sensible. But it also it will not pick it. It will not pick it at all. Maybe here. No. Set. Here it detects it because it's really really close. As you can see, if I move it around, it will not sit. Yeah, so for the walls, I advise you to press the sensitive button and you can, you can find the, the live circuits inside your wall. So here also we have some, um, some cables, which we can test it with this beautiful device. So, yeah, we can see the accuracy. This cable is not in the is not plugged in, in the socket, as you can see. But if I put it in, it will detect the current that passes through it. It also works with the um, tighter cables. The smaller cables. So basically, if the if this wire is cut to here, it will detect the current until the cut. After the cut, it will not have any current, and you know where the where the cut put, where the cut uh, happened, and you know where to repair. So that that's why this tool is so great in these things. Yeah, so that was all. So if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And also if you have any comments, you know where to put it. Thanks.